Right, here we go with the Minimax Heat number one. And in pole position, we have got Joseph Ultz and Kai van Sale. So, Western Province uh, Car Club lock up the front row of the grid for Heat number one of the Rotax uh, Minimaxes as they make their way now out of Cosmic Golf Club. They're running through Box Bend. They're heading towards us. Joseph Ulz and Kai van Sale. Ulz, of course, in the Fernando Alonso outfit as they work their way now through Kiosk Inc. Out of Pit S's they come now. We'll see them go down the home straight. The lights go off and away they run down into turn number one into KFM corner. But it is Kai van Sale. Van Sale gets the whole shot there. All drops down into that second position. They are climbing all over each other now as they go through the kink, heading now into Hepa number one, working their way out of Hepa number two. So the man that was in P1 uh, did not get the whole shot out of KFM. The whole shot went to Kai van Sale as they run down the back main towards Cosme Corner. Well, Kai van Sale puts his head down there, also is in there too. And uh, up behind them there too, Sibo Solomon making his intentions known. So uh, the Cape Town boys running up front, pushing very hard now as they come past uh, the commentary box now. They go their way up to the uh, final straight now, up towards KFM. And uh, have a look at that. Joseph Ulz squeezes his way back to the front there, ahead of Kai van Sale. Ulz making his intentions known early days here, Frankie. Yeah, Tate Bishop sits there in that third position. So watch out there for Tate. He qualified in a third position with a time of 45.414. He sits now in P3 as uh, they head down the back main towards Cosmic Corner. But up front, it's Kai van Sale that leads there from Joseph Ulz in second. It's Bishop that sits there in third. And the three of them look like they're trying to get a break there on the man in P4, which is Sibo Solomon. Well, I don't think Sibo will be too uh, pleased about that. He'll want to come back as you see him put the hammer down. But Frankie, we've seen through much of the races today. They all get uh, spread out early. And as the race progresses, they tend to bunch up once again now as the tyres start to get hot. But uh, still out front, it's uh, Ulz there from Van Sale. Tate Bishop's in there in third. And uh, Kai Van Sale uh, also pushing pretty hard there with the likes of Sibo Solomon. So they make their way now out of the 180s now, down towards Cosmic they go. It is uh, still that cart, 563. Joseph Ulz that leads out there from Kai Van Sale, followed by Tate Bishop. Sibo Solomon starting to close down now as they come out of uh, Golf Club down towards the uh, guesses. Yeah, so it does look as if uh, Ulz has eventually got his nose ahead there of Kai van Sale, and now he's beginning to pull away. Van Sale sits there in that second position. He's been mugged there by Joseph Ulz. Siva Solomon, I think, might have lost the position there. It could be Leighton Furie that's uh, made the move on him. Otherwise, Furie will be right on his back bumper as they work into the 180s. Well, they're working their way into the 180s now. The leaders are starting to stretch their legs. It's still Joseph Ulz that leads out. Ulz is trying to get away from the rest of the pack. He's got the hammer down now. He goes into Cosmic Corner. And uh, there's about five carts in there now fighting there for the second position. But it's still uh, Kai Van Sale from Tate Bishop now as they come up towards us. Sibo Solomon has crept a little bit closer now. And uh, they make their way over the start-finish line once again. And still Joseph Ulz as he uh, backs it into KFM there now. Well, as uh, the carts run across the uh, start-finish line, we see the 507 uh, coming through in uh, frame there. And that is uh, Daniel De Paiva. That's also making his way around pretty quickly. But uh, we're now keeping an eye on that mid-pack group. That's now making its way out of the 180s. There's about seven, eight, nine of them in that mid-pack group. That's now making their way down the back straight now. And these guys are having a hell of a fight as they go through Cosmic and into Golf Club. Well, it's nice to see this kind of uh, energy being spent by the youngsters now as the gloves are off and they're having a great battle. Still, it's Joseph Ulz that leads out. Up behind him there now, it's going to be uh, Kai Van Sale. And uh, no, it's not. It's Tate Bishop and Kai Van Sale is in third position there now. So uh, things are happening. And uh, they come now into the 180s now. There's a frenetic stuff in there now as everybody has a good fight of it. And uh, they come out the 180s now, back down towards Golf Club. The leader now starting to stamp down his authorities. He tries to crack on the pace.
Yeah, well, Joseph Ultz is now getting away there from Kai Van Sale, but Van Sale has been kept pretty honest. He's got three of them racked and stacked behind him as uh, they work their way uh, through the pit S's and run down the home straight. There they go. Down the home straight, it's, fun, it's uh, all set leads there. Van Sale has dropped down into that third position. Tate Bishop has eventually moved his way up into second. Then right behind him, you've got the 5-1-4. That's Akil Alibai uh, that has also made his move there as they work their way out of the second of the Eppins. Well, in the mix there too is Leighton Faree. Leighton Faree's moved up and he's made his intentions known. He sits there in about fifth position now and uh, he's pushing pretty hard. Ulse, well, he's cracked the whip there now. He's trying to get away there now. Tate Bishop sits there in P2 and... Uh, Tate Bishop pushing pretty hard there behind him. It's the 5-3-4, uh, 5-4-3, that's uh, Kai Van Sale. 5-3-4, Kai Van Sale sits there in third position there. Then it's the 5-1-4, uh, Cart. And, uh, well, we're not picking up there now. That is Akil Alibi. Akil Alibi is also in the mix there. He's made his intentions known. He's moved up through the pack. So uh, things are chopping and changing. And it's getting pretty frenetic there for second and third position at the moment, Frankie. Right, so as they work down the back bay, never mind about Joseph Ulz, that's in P1. Kai Van Sale, well, it looks like he settled down and uh, into that second position as uh, they work in their way through the uh, box bend, through Kiosk Kink they run now, and heading down the home straight into KFM. Well, yeah, the other leaders now come towards the line now. And uh, that man, uh, Kai Van Sale, is really trying to fight his way towards the front. Kai Van Sale's riding pretty hard. And it looks like we've got a little bit of a change there mid-pack now. So uh, we'll pick him up as they come up towards us now. They're going up down, down the back straight. They're going to move their way up towards Cosmic now. Here comes your leader now. That's uh, Joseph Ulls. And uh, we're trying to pick up who the other... Drivers are so uh, coming now through Boggs Bend. It's still uh, Tate Bishop holding on to second place. Right, so the uh, that leader still, Joseph Ulz, uh, reigns supreme in this uh, race at the moment now. They're making their way now down towards uh, Cosmic Corner. Second place there, Tate Bishop holding on pretty tight. Here comes Tate towards us now. And uh, still it's uh, Kai Fonsell fighting pretty hard. He's trying to uh, better his position. Frankie, it's a hard f fight out there at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard, pretty tough out there as uh, they work their way across the line. Joseph Ulz leads there. He's in P1. Uh, it looks like it might be Tate Bishop that sits there in that second position. Yeah, Bishop sits there in that second place, but he's got a lot of work to, uh, to catch up. Uh, Akil Alibai sits there in a P3 at this point in time, and he's right on the case there of uh, Tate Bishop as uh, they work their way down the back main, but the leader far, far down the road as they make their way into Cosmic and Golf Club. Well, they're going to Cosmic and Golf Club now, and Tate Bishop has got his hands full. He's got the likes of Akil Alibi sitting up there behind him, and uh, it looks like it could be that man, uh, Luke Ullerman, that could be in there. We're trying to pick up the numbers now as they come up towards us, and... Uh, Making life very difficult for uh, Tate Bishop. So uh, Tate Bishop now has got a whole uh, string of carts up behind him. He's trying to keep him now as he comes out of the 180s. He takes a very tight line now and uh, makes his way up towards Cosmic. And uh, very defensive stuff there from him now. And by doing that, he's actually letting the likes of Josephals get away. Yeah, well, he is definitely clearing down the road is uh, Joseph Waltz, and uh, he lost that lead a while ago, got that lead back, and never looked back since. since. It is uh, Bishop that sits there in that second position, Akil Alibi sits there in third place, and Thank the checkered flag comes out. So it's Joseph Waltz that comes home in P1, the second is Bishop Alibi comes across the line in third position.